Hello there, and welcome back to Clockwork Empires. I'm just gonna wait until the saving goes away here. Alright, so there we go. So, uh, from the looks of it, uh, a few episodes earlier I did talk about how the game was a little unstable. From the looks of it, despite it being only kind of 19 days into the colony, um, the, the save times have, from the looks of things at least, increased- why, why is there a pot of stew here? I, 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 getting back to the point, it, it, like from the looks of it, despite it being only a few turns kind of into the game, um, uh, the, the loading turn times have been have been getting drastically worse so I think there there might be a bit of an issue there um, again we'll, we'll try to run this as far as we can but uh, you know what if uh, if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out right no oh. some petty grievances right over here you know, we probably should have put this air master around the, uh, yeah, around the church. That would have looked nice at least. At least it's kind of like a tower uh, type of deal. But, oh, well, you know what? This works too. How are we doing over here? We're still smelting a lot of ore. Um, we have two, well, you know, we have two, two ovens for a reason. We could probably get the other one to work as well. Let's see whether or not they do do that. And from the looks of things, it takes a while for that to, to kick up. And, hey, would you look at that? One of the beds are complete. I think the other one inside here is is done as well. What do we have here? Some, some raiders from the looks of things. It looks like the fish people, yeah, it doesn't kick off until kind of well, once they're already into your base. So, yeah, that's just something that I've noticed so far. Yeah, because they just walk right through, right? Right, so some more immigration. We will use the last of our prestige to get five more people. And we'll just assign them kind of arbitrarily to some work groups over here. And get back right to kind of what matters over here, managing the colony and all. So let's see. Two beds over here. Um, taking a look at the uh, the queue for textiles, we could probably make well, at least one unit more of bolts. So we'll see what they do there. How are these people still still staying here? Oh no! I wonder what will happen here. I mean, is can this person kind of escape now? Is the thing with these chairs being in the way? I hope they can, yeah, I hope the collision detection there doesn't, you know, doesn't necessarily kick off until later on, because that would be really bad. I don't want anybody kind of trapped out there. So that's one thing. Uh, looks like, yeah, a lot of people are out here doing, doing their, doing their rightful duty of clearing out this land. It's not bad. I want to grab a lot of that. And you know, you know what? We could use a lot of stone as well. So let's collect all of that, bring it right back to the base. Uh, over here, this doesn't hasn't been identified, so that kind of sucks. But the rest should be good. And I suppose the uh, well, the game marches forwards here. Nobody's fixed up the the common common shack as of yet. I'm guessing they're too busy over here collecting all the goods and stuff. Hey, would you look at that? They've already started mining. It's pretty good. And also over here, wow, that's that's really good. All right, taking a look at commodities here. Hmm. Still haven't made any of the uh, the flax here into anything more so workable. 
probably take a look at the patriotic fireboxes. There's there's four people in the squad, but only one of the these ovens are are ever fired up at one time, which really sucks. I really hope they um, yeah because the stockpile I mean is right next door, quite literally. Um, I, I had hoped that they were able to gather stuff a little faster than that, but I guess not. Uh, in the meantime, mind that, mind that, mind this. Now they finally... No, they're not even using two. Ah. Uh, well, at least there's three people working here. That's not too bad. Yeah, another person bashing out of bed here. Not bad again. Okay, so after this, I think we all only have, yeah, a chemist's workshop, a laboratory, and a mine to build before we are kind of at the end of the, uh, the game's realm of things to build here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we can build fortifications as well. If we wanted to do this at one point, uh, yeah, we can start kind of fortifying the town and building it up, but yeah, some of the uneven terrain portions are, are, are kind of hard to dip, to um, to deal with there, but we can, yeah, we could fortify the area. Oh, that's right. Um, not sure if these people use tools to, to build these uh, chairs and things, as if, if you kind of know what I mean there. Um, I mean, from the looks of things by the animation, yes, they do, but I noticed that, yeah, hammers are, uh, yeah, a, a tool inside the game, so maybe, maybe you're, the amount of people building things is kind of restricted by that, but so far, I mean, I think we've seen four things being built at one time, and it doesn't really tell you how many there are of these hammers and things kind of floating around. I mean, for, for whatever reason, right, we have like 14 pickaxes, despite me not building a single one. So yeah, that's also another thing. Take a look at the log over here, and uh, not too much happened. Bandits setting up camp. Let's not provoke them. Let's see whether or not any more of them join us for the long haul over here. And let's see, we can probably yeah, we can probably set up another middle class house somewhere somewhere along this area later on. Yeah, and even with tools, these guys build really, really slowly. It's taking forever, and they're just building a couple of simple wooden chairs. Uh, but luckily, once they've finished that row, at least they have the, the, the majority of chairs down, so that's not, it's not great. It's not terrible. And we're still on two units of flask. Oh, that's not a good sign. He is just... Yeah, he's just floating around over there. Well, really, that depends on what the other people are doing. The other people are moving, so he might be frozen in place. Elbert Steelson. Yeah, he's a foot soldier too, so it would have been really nice to uh, keep him around for, for what he's worth, but... 
Um, we'll see. Maybe, maybe you know, next time when I load up the game, that might solve itself. I mean, there is a chance, and, and I think that's really the only chance there is, really, of something working out over there. What are they doing with the metal? Oh, they're taking it to the stockpile. Okay, that's not too bad. So there we go. We made it to day 20 of uh, things to come here. Calling for some more people here. And I guess for the time being, oh, it looks like there's a fight going on. But I was gonna say, from the looks of things, for the time being at least, we might wanna try to go for a uh, hundred people. Yikes, we're being invaded by, uh, I wanna say floating rifles, of course, but the, uh, the, the Novi Russian people there. Yeah, there they are. Looks like one of our people sight one of them, the, the militia trying in here. And oh, would you look at that? The rifle does indeed have a uh, longer range than the pistol. Interesting to know. Managed to drive them off here after shooting two of them. Um, hmm. This graveyard might not be big enough from the looks of it. We can hide some bodies over here. Make this area look like- oh my god, it's terrible. Make this area look like a mass grave, like somebody tried to hide graves inside the trees, despite the trees being cut down. Terrible. Just thought of that. Um, but I, I guess it works. <laughs> so we'll, yeah, well, I guess we'll, we'll put some, some bodies there for now. And- oh yes, in the meantime! Perfect, perfect, we can get more textiles going. That really help out here and get a lot more of those yeah those little comfy beds for people to to sleep in here it's so perfect the flax thing is going well decent amount of stuff coming from there Yeah, no, I don't think there's too, all too much that we need to do right now, apart from... I guess, smelting some stuff? Yeah, and that should make sure that they, uh, they keep alternating between the two, so that hopefully they have enough rare uh, materials here and around here to, to cycle through. And over here as well, so you can sell a lot of the stuff I would imagine is coming from over here. And ooh, some ore behind here. Okay, so that's not too bad. There, that's kind of what I like to see the entire construction battalion here doing its thing. Let's take a look at what their chat was about. She found a new friend in somebody, somebody, somebody. Gave confession, which is, I think, what had happened right now. Yeah, from... or maybe not? What is she? Yeah, no, she is the, uh, the person who runs this church. I would imagine it's a priest, but I guess not. Either way, um, yeah, so that works out pretty well. I wonder if they actually do kind of hold any, like, congregation here. That's actually one of the reasons why I'm building all of these chairs, by the way, is that I've yet to see somebody sit down on one of them, and I think this might be kind of a triggered activity that, uh, well, well, you know, triggers it. But we'll see.
What's going on over here? I think these two are just really in shock from fleeing from uh, from maybe the, the band of Novi Russian people earlier. And hey, would you look at that? They're starting to bury people here. Mildred Gang was buried here. The other one is kind of unknown for now, I guess. And yep, would you look at that? A lot of coal, a lot of other stuff, I would presume. For yeah, for for the for the refineries here. And how is that going? I'm guessing the two icons here mean that two people work there, so that's not too bad. And it looks like they're just putting the finishing touches on this area, so that's that's even better. Yeah, would you look at that? So yeah, I think the next thing we build is really just a laboratory and a chemist's workshop, and afterwards that is, uh, well, you know, pretty much it. Ah, and this one requires glass, eh? So let's see, with glass you need a, a bucket of whatever to make it from the looks of things. So we can get a chemist's workshop. That works too. I I, I imagine it as um, the the laboratory being kind of <laughs> more or less like uh, yeah like like just a little shack in the middle of nowhere. So uh, we'll see about whether or not it is like that. But for now, I guess we need a chemist's workshop area as well. So I'd prefer it if this area is a little bit, you know, fancy to work with. But uh, yeah, I think that's that's really the best I can do with that. So we'll make a chemist's workshop as well. We just need the, the side doors over here built. And yeah, that is, I, I guess this could be con kind of considered our first... Uh, mega project if you will or project rather it's not really mega in the sense um here so that's not too bad or i guess this chain of buildings could also be i mean it houses a few people quite nice there and i think going forwards really what we could do to uh, kind of speed up the town here is to build some more housing ar around ar around the woods and all And taking a look at that, I mean, we have ample amounts of wood and other resources for that purpose. Not bad. Ooh. Huh. Would you look at that? Right, the militia has been called. Stop this bandit. Right, and he runs away from a, from a, yeah, from a wall of gunfire over here. Ah, they're even going to chase him. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of fatal hit. Okay, so let's get it. Yeah, Fort Moore. New uh, people. Ooh. Looks like the band attack was merely a distraction. And I'm also pretty surprised we don't use any ammunition here. And our guys are forming a little rank and file over here, I guess. Yeah, putting down all. A little bit of mass fire on them. And yeah, that kind of clears things up. Uh oh. That is not what I wanted to be built, but uh, doesn't look like I have a choice now. Here, we can go to jobs and... Eh... I don't see it listed as well. There is a way to remove these things, but... Yeah, I don't think it'll allow me at this point. 
Yeah, that kind of sucks. Really sucks for the person sitting exactly there and there, I guess. But, uh... Yeah. Right, so I think we'll wrap up this episode here, and I'll look into whether or not I can clear this out, but in the event I can't, eh, you know what, we'll just leave it there, there's nothing I can do about that. So, um, so far, I mean, again, if you've enjoyed the Let's Play series so far, be sure to like and subscribe. And would you look at that, some more allies passing through the area. <laughs>